What you guys gonna have a video here for you in this one we're gonna be looking at how we can uh, set up a guest account or visitor account uh, on Windows 10 now guest accounts have been disabled for some reason um, by Microsoft now either they've uh, disabled them or or it's a bug and it doesn't work so no matter what you try to do to try and enable it it's very easy to enable uh, but it doesn't work so there is a workaround that you're going to have to do uh, now since the build 101.59 July 2015 this has not worked and I think it's something to do with a security uh, flaw and they've disabled it so if you look here under your account you'll see the guest account has gone let me just quickly open up um, right click on my start button here and open up co uh, computer management now when we open up computer management if we look here down the left hand side you can see uh, local users and groups click on that and then click on users and you can see the guest account here now in a normal way all you'd have to do here is uh, click on it and right uh, right click on the guest account here and uh, take out account disabled now if you did that what normally happens is it would normally allow you to start that up so if we go back here click here uh, and then click on the guest account what will happen is it will go to the normal account here so you can't actually log into it so it's broken so let me just go back and we're going to quickly show you a way around this now why would you want to use a guest account well guest accounts have been around for a long time um, but the reason why you might want to use one is because you may have someone that wants to use that computer a friend or something like that and uh, they may want to use the account uh, that account to do some stuff on your computer now it doesn't give them access to uh, install apps or new devices and they can't change the account type they can't access any libraries or anything like that of yours so they won't be able to see all your stuff so that's the reason why they're useful so now we've uh, disabled uh, this guest account again the way around it is you can add a new user account here uh, but if you want to do it through the command prompt you can also do that we're going to be using the command prompt here I'm going to open up command prompt with admin uh, privileges and say yes to the user account control now once we've got this open we can put net user and in space and then we want to say call it a name so I'm going to call it visitor um, just quickly call it that rather than guest because we've already got a guest account I don't want to delete it just in case um, Microsoft fix that issue so we're gonna do space here and then we're gonna call this active and then colon and then yes now what that's gonna do is say the, uh, the command completed successfully and now we sh if we go back to this location you should if we refresh this we should see an account has been created so this account now is going to be your guest account which is disabled at the moment now if you look at say the guest account here you'll see that the user cannot change passwords password never expires account is disabled okay and if you look at the member of is the member of the guest group so rather than uh, touch this account we're just going to leave this uh, because just in case Microsoft do fix it and then we can just delete this visitor account afterwards so what I want to do here is I want to right click on this and I'm going to go to properties and what we're going to do is set this up slightly different here the same thing so we're going to put a uh, user uh, cannot change a password passwords never expire we're going to leave the account uh, enabled now you can see this is a mem this is member of the user group now we don't want to do that so we're going to remove this and we're going to add a new group so we're going to go into advanced and now once we're inside here we're going to go into where it says find now and down the bottom what we want to do is go to guests and then we're going to click OK and you can see it's now part of the guest account I'm going to click OK here apply and OK and now we've got our account added to the guest area is a member of the guests and now when we uh, start up the system if we come back up here now You can see we have a visitor account here if we click on this it will allow us to log into that visitor account you can sign in and then basically once this is done it's going to prepare uh, the windows to be installed 
and we'll just let that uh, install itself so then we can uh, use that uh, account and there we have it that's now been created and it's as quick as that now remember uh, this is an account that we can uh, remove straight away afterwards if Microsoft uh, fix the guest account um, if they don't fix it then you can carry on using the visitor account as a guest just as it would be as a guest account there and this way you're not changing or deleting anything on the system here it's keeping it as is so what we're going to do here now is I'm just going to go back to my normal account just going to sign in so if we go back to the uh, computer management here I'm going to right click on the start button here and go computer management and then we're going to go back to local users and groups and you can see our visitor account here now you can right click and delete this here if you wish or you can do it in your command prompt uh, if you want to do that and I'll show you how to quickly do that so we'll open up our command prompt with administrator uh, privileges again and what you want to do here is do the same thing net user and then you want to come back to where it says visitor just like so and then you want to do forward slash delete and you can see that's been successfully deleted and if we go back to here and refresh our account you can see now the account has gone so that's basically how you can quickly set up a visitor account to work around the a guest account that doesn't work and it will be exactly the same so I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos also if you've got any problems with your computers or video requests you can always head over to my forums and join up over there it's free to join and post over there also if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page then give us a little like up over there anyway hope this one helps you out thanks again for watching bye for now